I grew up in Bolivia and I had a wonderful childhood until an adult family member started sexually abusing me. There was a lot of pressure for me to stay silent, but I just couldn't stay silent. I found out that I wasn't alone, that there were tons of girls that were also being sexually abused, and I had to do something. At age 17, I funded the first and only center in Bolivia for children who had been sexually abused. Since 2004, we have been able to provide free legal, social, and psychological services to children. Soy hermosa. Soy dichosa. We use art therapy, dance therapy, play therapy, music therapy, yoga, meditation. We use different methodologies because we know that every child heals different. We try to find something that makes them happy, makes them dream again, and we use that to help them regain control of their own bodies. We work with the families to prevent re-victimization and to see this child as a very powerful survivor and to have the support that she needs so that she can take her case to court and she can heal. We work very hard so that every child that comes to our program finishes school. Wow! A big problem here in Bolivia is that most women depend economically on men, which makes them more vulnerable to violence. We help these girls to dream of becoming economically independent, open their bank accounts, look for jobs, and we also provide training for them. We do the bakery, we do hair salon. My dreams for the woman is that we can be seen as equal and can grow up in a place where we don't have to fear when we're walking, we don't have to fear the way that we're gonna be treated by society. I believe that to end the violence, we need to give back the voices to girls, especially those who have suffered. And once you put a dream in them, they can start fighting for it until they can accomplish what they want. Thank you.